Hi there, this is Dr. Ramey. Let's talk about how to determine the original culture density, or OCD. So here's an example where we have a serial dilution that has uh, aliquots from each of those uh, tubes has been uh, plated onto four different plates. Those plates have then been incubated and then the colonies that have resulted or that it grew uh, from after those incubations have been counted. So you've got all that information here in order to determine the original culture density. So we're trying to figure out how many cells per mil, so that's how we determine OCD in cells per mil or CFUs per mil, right? Colony forming units are in that original sample or original culture. You need to know the formula. So the formula here is uh, OCD equals the colony forming units over the volume plated times the inverse of the total dilution factor. So the CFUs, right, we have to, uh, we, we get that number from plates that have colonies in that range of 30 to 300 CFUs. So of these four plates here, there's only one plate that fall within that range of a, this plate here, 192. So remember, the plates have to have colonies uh, have to be in the range of 30 to 300 in order to be used to determine OCD. So we can't use this plate. It's more than 300. We can't use this plate. It's less than 30. So we're going to use 192 CFUs. Uh, so that takes care of that number. The volume plated. Well, now that we've determined which plate we're going to use uh, for or to determine OCD, then we know that the um, we can see that the that one mil from that tube number three was plated onto the plate that resulted in 192 colonies. So that tells us that our VP or volume plated is one mil. And there's only one thing left to find in order for us to calculate the OCD and that is the total dilution factor the total dilution factor so the TDF now in a previous uh, video that I made I went over how to determine the uh, TDF or total dilution factor uh, from a serial dilution let's let's do it quickly here so we have um, uh, 1 mil into 99, so that's a 1 to 100 dilution. So 1 to 100 from the original sample to tube 1 is the same as 10 to the minus 2. And then from tube 1 to tube 2 here, we have uh, again 1 into 99, so that's another 1 to 100. So that's a another 10 to the minus 2, but from tube <clears throat> or from the original sample to tube 2, that is a 10 to the minus 4. Right, remember adding these exponents. <clears throat> okay, from tube 2 to tube 3, it's 1, but not 1 into 99, 1 into 9. So that's a uh, 1 to 10 dilution, which is a 10 to the minus 1. And so to get, uh, and so then the total dilution factor uh, then from the original sample all the way to tube 3 is uh, minus 4 plus minus 1 is 10 to the minus 5. Now we don't need to do, bother doing this one because we're not going to be using that plate. So we just need to determine the total dilution factor into tube number 3. So now we know what the total dilution factor is. It's 10 to the minus 5. And now what we need to do is plug in our numbers and do the math. So we have OCD equals the CFUs. So here's our CFUs. So 192 CFUs volume plated 1 mil over 1 mil and then 1 over the total dilution factor, which is 10 to the minus 5. And I'm going to wrap around here a little bit. So this is 192 over 1, so that's pretty, that's pretty easy. Just 192, um, and this is going to be CFUs per mil right makes sense because that's what we want our answer to be in right CFUs per mil so we got 192 
and then the inverse of 1 over 10 to the minus 5 is just 10 to the fifth. You just lose that negative on that exponent. And now we just need to put this into proper scientific notation, and this is our answer. So this would be 192 times 10 to the fifth, but that's not quite proper scientific notation. Remember, we want that exponent to be here. So we have to come over 1, 2 to the left. So that means we, since we move the decimal two spots to the left, we have to add 2 to this exponent. So this would end up being 1.92 times 10 to the seventh. And don't forget your units, CFU per mil. And this is the answer. So the original, so the culture density, right, the cells per mil or CFUs per mil in this tube right here, the original tube, is that 1.92 times 10 to the 7th colony forming units per mil.